Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sisilowati. I'm an Excel and Power BI enthusiast with decades of business experience. In this week's video, I want to show you a very interesting functionalities in Power BI, sales forecasting. It is not frequently used, but it is super useful. Let me show you. In this video, I will show you how to create three charts which incorporate future sales forecasts using historical data like this. In this chart, the historical data is seasonal. Can you see the seasonal pattern? At the beginning of the year, the sales is high and then low and then high again. And look at how Power BI can replicate that going into the future in the gray lines. In the second chart, I will show you an example whereby the historical sales is growing and look at how Power BI can continue that into the future. And in this chart, I'll show you how to create vertical line marker like this so that it's easier to distinguish when a new year starts. And in the third example, I will show you how to create a chart with horizontal lines like this. There is minimum lines, there is maximum lines, as well as the 70th percentile line. And we also have historical data in blue and the forecast is here with confidence interval being shaded. I'll show you how to do that. And lastly, we'll finish with a bonus example on how to create a forecast whereby you may have anomaly in your historical data that you want to remove so that it's not impacting our future forecast. Let's get started by recreating our first sales forecast. We have a set of historical data that looks seasonal up and down, and we're going to generate this forecast together. Let's get started. This is our plain line chart, a simple one, date on the x-axis, values, which is historical sales is entered in here. Now click the chart and hit further analysis, turn on forecast, and voila, we have a little line appearing. Let's make it longer by changing the forecast length. I'm going to change it to 365. And that's because my lowest granularity is in days. So if I want to add one year of forecast, I need to enter 365 days. You can also change this option to years and say, Power BI, please give me 10 years worth of data and boom, look at that. But that's a bit too long, so change it to one. Now that's done. If you want to, you can change the color of your forecast. How do you do that? You scroll down, and in this forecast line section, you can change the color. You can make it red. The shaded area over there is the confidence interval. At the moment, the selection is 95, and you can change the style of the confidence band. You can make it look like a line like that or nothing but i like the fill option that we had earlier so let's just leave it like that so there you go the historical data is now up to here and those in red our forecast let's look at our second example a forecast line with vertical line marker Let's get started with our line chart. Our historical sales are growing, as you can see in the blue line over here, and click the charts, hit analysis, and turn on the forecast. Once you have done that, increase the forecast length. I'm going to add one year and hit apply. We're done. And let's now add the vertical lines. You scroll up click x-axis constant line and then hit add line select the line options and enter the month where you want the vertical lines to be attached at so i'm going to add the line at the first of january of every year so that's first of january 2022 the first line done you can change the color if you want i'm going to leave it the same you can also change the style if you want, dash or solid line. Again, I'm going to keep it the same. If you want to, you can change them. We can add another line. And this time I'm going to add the line in here, 1st of January 2021. You can click this 
and scroll one by one that takes a long time so my preferred option is to click the month and then that option will come up then you can click January and hit 1st of January 2021 that's the second line done let's practice again add another one on the 1st of January 2022 so that's the third line hit the value hit the month and then 2020 1st of January and we're done let's move on to recreating this chart historical random sales data being used to generate a set of forecasts in the future and in the chart there are three horizontal lines outlining the minimum the maximum as well as the 70th percentile let's get started we are starting with plain line charts again click the chart hit visualization analysis button turn on the forecast and increase the length so that we are showing 365 days and hit apply boom we are done now let's add the three lines how do we do that click the chart again go back to analysis and add the minimum line add the maximum line look at that uh -huh. and lastly add the percentile line add the line there now you need to define what type of percentile line do you want you click the line in here and this is where you define whether you want it to be the 70th or the 90th I'm just going to hit the 70th and then let's add some label maybe change the color to red and then add data label turn it on now there is a label added on the left you can see that let's move them to the right now the labels are there change the color as well make it red as well and change the display unit to millions one decimal place and also add the name so change the style to name i want both so name and values percentile line one is too long so click that and rename it to 70th percentile hit enter and now we've got that so you can do the same thing with minimum and maximum if you want to you can add the data labels to the lines but i'm not going to do that to save time let's look at our last example a set of historical data with anomalies and we want to create a forecast but we want power bi to ignore that last couple of days of data how do we do that click the chart add further analysis turn on forecast as usual increase the length to 365 days and there is this option ignore the last couple of days say i'm going to say ignore the last five days hit apply and look at that power bi is ignoring it if you don't use this option the output will look funny it will look like that whereas if you ask power bi to ignore it and hit apply voila looking good Congratulations, you have now reached the end of the video and you have learned how to conduct sales forecasting in Power BI. I hope you have learned something useful and can apply it in your future Power BI reports. See you next time.